guys, it's me, Be Unique. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're returning, you know you guys are awesome. Today's video is going to be a try and slash first impressions of what I got in November's BoxyCharm Base and Premium Box, which was the setting powder, which I totally forgot to leave my thoughts at the end of the video. So really quick, it's, it's, a little, it's tinted and I'm not a big fan on tinted, but it was very lightweight. I did like it, so yeah. But if you want my thoughts on everything else, then please keep watching. So we're gonna be starting with the setting powder. This is the Photo Finish setting, Fresh Setting Powder in the shade two. I did not get to pick out this shade. So we're just gonna go ahead and give her a twist to get some powder. It is pretty yellow based, um, which typically could work for me. It's just how, I don't know how dark this is gonna be. So yeah, it's a little dark, okay. So I'm just gonna set in my non-highlighted areas and then in my highlighted areas, I'm going to use a different setting powder. I like it, it feels lightweight, but it does add color, which I'm not too thrilled with in a sense because I typically go for translucent powders. That way, you know, it's more true to color and I don't have to worry about any of that affecting it. So in person, it is a little yellow, but on camera, it looks okay. So I am gonna bake underneath my eyes as well. I zoomed you guys in a little bit. I hope that helps some. So we're gonna go into the palette here. I already set my eyes, so I'm not going to be using the cream shade, um, but I will be starting out with, huh. I think I'm gonna keep this pretty neutral. As much as this orange shade is calling out to me, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it for today and swear. <laughs> well, no, I don't know how this is gonna work, but me ignoring my, my feelings, but Let's get started. So I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush with, you, you could just use any brush you want. And I'm gonna go into this, I don't even know if it's the shade Jasper or Amara. I'm assuming it's Amara. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And we're just gonna start, I've never used Natasha Denona, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're tapping in. Not a lot of kickback. There's some, but and I'm just gonna focus this all in the crease and up towards the brow bone. Wow, I didn't put that much product on there and I am surprised. Hmm. Interesting. Oh God. And we're just gonna blow it out into that brow bone. So now I'm gonna go on a more flat or a smaller dense brush. Let me see if I even have my this brush available to me right now, which I do. Okay. Oh, actually. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to try this one first, which this one came in my Luter Beauty um, Life to Drag palette. And I'm going to go into that brown shade. I'm going to go into the shade right here. Give it a few taps. And we're going to keep this strictly in the crease. So mine would be right here. And this is where we're gonna keep it. Wing it out a little. Nothing too crazy. It's gonna look something like that. And just keep working that color in the crease. Blend it out a little. Because I have a hood, I have to make sure that it's actually above where my crease is. So I have to be very careful. Go a little bit higher. Not too high. Not high enough. Clean. 
cleaning off any excess just to help blow out that edge there. So I'm not, uh, there we go. Now I'm going to do the same to the other eye. So I'm going to go back in to the first shade that we were in, which is this shade here, but I'm going to use a different brush and I'm just going to help blend out the edges a bit on either side. I just feel like I lost that color and I want that to be there in the transition. So I want to put that back just a bit. I'm gonna use this shade right here to highlight my brow bone on a shader brush, which is the other end of the Lunar Beauty brush that I was using. Just wanna add just a bit. So I'm just gonna grab a flat brush and any concealer. I try to go add, uh, stick with my skin tone or lighter. So I have Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. I'm just going to grab some on a flat brush and then I'm going to basically cover my lid. But when I'm done, I'm going to look up like so and it's going to mark where basically I have to stop the concealer. Oh, I need a mirror for this. I'm over here trying to act all skilled and I am not. I'm gonna go on with the shader brush here and I'm going to use this shimmer shade in the palette. And while my concealer is still wet, I'm gonna start packing that on. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a liner brush, if I can find one, uh, or just a very small detailing brush. I'm gonna use this brush right here. I'm gonna go into that brown shade right here and I'm going to ever so gently just emphasize my crease area. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna go and add that depth back in following that cut crease. And already the difference, we're gonna blend it out. So afterwards. now that that's blended out, I'm going to go back into the first transition shade here with this sided brush. I don't even know what to call it, but it's a really flat brush. I'm just going to add some more because as I was blending, I kind of lost that shade. So I went ahead and did my wing eyeliner. Now I'm going to take this brush here. This is a Luxie 209 brush. Don't know if that means anything to you guys, but I'm going to go in uh, with the first shade here and I'm going to blow that underneath my lash line. I'm also going to take this and put it underneath my wing ever so slightly just to help carry that color out. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab the face palette. I wasn't even going to use it just because I have the other face palette from last month, but and then I was like, you know what? I have to declutter a lot of my stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and use it because I really like the highlight in here, the blush. I love everything in here. So we are going to take the contour or bronzer shade and we're going to start contouring. I'm going to use the Luxie 512 and I'm going to jump right into that contour shade and start the process. There's a lot of kickback from this. I'm not trying to make this heavy handed. So I'm just being very careful. I just want a little detail. I really like this shade. I feel like this is a very good shade for me. I like it a lot. Then I'm going to take this angled brush and I'm going to go ahead and go into the blush. Yeah, even the blush is very powdery. Like, look at that. You guys see that in that pan? The blush is very pretty though. This is so a blush that I would use every day. So I'm taking the Luxie 522 on the uh, highlighter shade. And this seems to be the only shade without a lot of kickback, oddly enough. 
The shade and pan looks very pretty, but as I put it to my face, I don't feel like it's, it's very subtle. So if you're a girl who likes subtlety or natural highlight, this is the one for you. For me, I like a little oomph. Not too much of an oomph, but just enough to where, I don't know. Like, if the, I think the undertones in that highlighter shade are just not for me. Like, I like a warm tone. So now we have the mascara that came in this month's box, which is the Milk Makeup. And I'm going to use that on the top lash. Let's see. The wand is really thick. But my eyelashes and my eyes are small, so I mean, it still works, but I just feel like it might be a little too big for my eyes. Just a little bit too big. First thoughts, it's okay. I think I like the Thrive Cosmetics mascara a lot better. I just feel like with this one, I have to put a lot of layers on versus the other mascara. I only had to put on like one to two tops. This is like my third coat. But I do like how my lashes are not sticking or clumping together. So I will say that that is a plus. So here is the finished look. I went ahead and I did dramatic lashes for this look. You don't need to do dramatic lashes. I just felt like I need a little oomph. Um, I wanted it to be very wearable. And then for lips, I have the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Sell Out. I didn't want to do anything too dark or bad because I wanted it to be daytime, somewhat wearable. So what are you guys' thoughts on this look? I think this look is super cute and I would so wear this out and about. Um, thoughts on the palette. This blended out very, very well. Um, I wish the names were like either underneath because on the back I can't tell if it's mirrored or is it like matching the shade that's like I don't know is that from left to right right light right to left I don't really know um so it's a little confusing with that I will say the shimmer or satin shade here I guess because of my eyelid type it's a little bit chunky because I had was packing it on so for my eyelid shape to do something like this I don't think that's the best shade, but it still works. And you know, it's really, it's really not, not all that bad. That's, I mean, I can't really say anything really bad. It's just my eyelids are, are all jacked up, but you guys get the point. As for the face palette, I did like it. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about the face palette was the fact that it had a lot of kickback. The only one that did not have kickback was the highlighter. I'm sorry, you probably hear my dog in the background. Um, and then for the mascara, if I could find it. I did like the mascara brush. I feel for my eyes, because my eyes are small, that it needed to be a little bit smaller. The formula for the mascara itself, I don't know if I necessarily like it. I felt like I had to put layer upon layer upon layer versus my other mascara that I was using forever. I only had to do like two layers maximum. Um, but with that being said, that one would clump my lashes together and this one did not. So pros and cons there. I did not use the face wash or anything like that. Um, I really wanted to focus on the face palette, the mascara and the eyeshadow palette. And yeah, so overall with those three items, not bad, not bad at all. I can't really complain. A little bit of kickback on the face palette, I could live with that. The layering for the mascara, I could live with that. Again, these are just my first impressions. But yeah, don't shoot the messenger. This is just how I have my opinions. Um, but yeah, so that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Please leave a comment down below on your thoughts on how this look came out. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to sting my subscribe button. Come join my little beehive here with me. Help me pollinate my videos on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, wherever else you guys can think of pollinating my videos. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.